Hi everyone, I'm here at the State Archives in North Carolina, here to learn about the kinds of resources they have here that'll help me in my genealogy research. I'm here with Chris Meekins, a research archivist. So Chris, can you tell me a little bit more about the State Archives? Sure, welcome to the State Archives in North Carolina. Uh, we are one of the oldest state archives in the United States. We house the records of the state agencies and county agencies for the state of North Carolina. Um, we are also one of the oldest colonies in the state, so we're one of the 13 colonies. So our records stretch back all the way to foundation of, of the colony in the 1660s. Great. So can you show me a little bit of your collection? Sure. Let's go have a seat and take a look at some of our records. Great. Thank you. So Chris, what happens up here at the State Archives that's different than the State Library? Um, well, we're very similar in some ways, but in the State Archives, uh, we have original records of the state and the county uh, agencies, and so people can come here and use those records, the main parts of our collection, um, to do research about the state and the county and sometimes their families. Is the archive set up specifically for genealogy research? It's not a set up for geneal genealogical researchers, but it is a great place to do genealogy. Um, for every birth and death and family member that you have and when you're building your family tree, you need to document that with a source document. And the archives would be where you would find those source documents. Um, contemporary documents made at the time of the person was getting married or at the time of their death. And those records would come to the archives. We collect those and maintain those for the state and the county agencies. Great. So does the archives have every document I would need? Um, you've got to remember that not all documents survive. So your ancestor may have created a document in, in interacting with a state or a county agency, and there may be a loss of record due to fire or some other thing like that. So you will find most of the records you need here, but not all of the records are here. And, a, and of course, private papers you know, are, are a different matter altogether. And we may collect private papers. We're one of the few state archives that do that. Um, historically, papers that are important to the state and the county. But um, sometimes your ancestor will have given that to their alma mater or some other, you know, university or, or special collections library. And then you'll need to sort of figure out your branch of the family didn't inherit the family Bible, someone else did. Mm -hmm. Who is that? How can I get to that information? So Chris, you're an archivist. I'm sure you have some cool stuff to show me. What are some examples of documents that I might encounter in my genealogy research? Um, yes, we will have some things to show you. Uh, there'll be things like wills and estates. Um, sometimes your ancestor was sued by their neighbors, so there'll be court papers, you know. Uh, if you're really lucky, you'll get somebody who's involved in a murder because there's tons of records about the trial and, and that sorts of thing. Um, there'll be depositions, there might be a coroner's inquest on the body. So there's all sorts of court records that you know, your ancestor may have participated in. Certainly um, your vital records, your marriage, your death records, uh, divorce papers if that's uh, the route they went. You know, so there's all sorts of things like that that you encounter um, when you're trying to build that, that date information about your ancestor and try to fill out their life story so that they're just not a birth and death date and a number on a page. Okay. So now, do you have a will or anything you could show me, perhaps? Sure. i um, got a few samples of here. I um, took the liberty of pulling a few things from my own <laughs> family research when I had a uh, great place to do research at the archives. But this is the example, uh, an example of a will, the kind of will you might see. Um, this is my ancestor, Isaac Meekins. In the body of the will, it may give you clues to where your ancestor came from. In this, he says, this land in Maryland. So I know I can look further in Maryland if I get a chance to go there and research in their archives. Um, here, his he's signature is his mark. Many literate people only used a mark as a signature. Uh, and you can see he tried several times to write his I. And so it's kind of um, here. It, you see how feeble he was when he was trying to make that last testament and, and bequeath his land. So lots of good clues in there. It connects to his sons, and it talks about some of his grandchildren. So those are all sorts of things you might find in a will. Someone who dies with a will may also have an estate record. But sometimes when people die and they didn't leave a will, they'll have an estate record. And so a, a estate record gives you 
it lists property that you might find. You know, the person, sometimes you'll find a listing that they had to sell the family Bible and someone had to buy that in a family because it was movable property and it had some value. Um, to me, sometimes some of the, just the most interesting thing can be the age of the record itself. And so um, here's an example of deeds are good for very different reasons. Uh, a deed is an official document. It might say um, to my now wife or to my wife, you know, or, or my wife and I are selling our land. Um, that indicates marriage and that's a, it's a contemporary document. It, it proves marriage. Sometimes you can't prove it any other way. They'll also do things like deed of gift. So bequeath this to uh, my son, you know, for the love and goodwill I bear my son, I give him this piece of land. These are just a small sample of the documents that we have here. We hold millions of records literally. And um, so what, what we have here today was just a representative of those. Thank you so much, Chris. This is fascinating and I can't wait to get started on my own research. This has been a quick summary of the resources that are available to you in your state or local library uh, and archives. Um, I do encourage you to find out if you have resources like this available to you locally uh, and seek them out and do your own research.